rises. We're back! Oh, but it looks like you two beat us. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Yep! We managed to find and talk to everybody. We got back a little early. So we took some time just now to put the mailbox together. We got really lucky today. The vendors were feeling super generous. So we didn't even need to pay for the materials. It's just a shame that Kale got a splinter. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm used to working in the rainforest. I get splinters all the time. I've already taken care of it. We've already wrapped up everything on our to-do list for today. So all we need to do now is wait for everyone's letters to arrive. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you get some rest while I keep an eye on the mailbox? You're definitely your master's student, Sucrose. As long as you are Albedo are around, Paimon can relax and know that everything's taken care of. <sighs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Uh, wait. Actually, there's one thing that still needs taken care of. Paimon's starving. Hey, Traveler, you wanna get dinner? Your treat. I'll go with Sucrose to return the leftover materials to the vendors. You two, go get a proper meal. We can't have anyone going hungry. Yeah, now would be a good time for a break. Once everything is ready, let's meet up here again and collate all the information we've gathered. Sounds like a plan. Squall and Fury! Jules Be safe. May the god of animal protect you and your loved ones. Everything packed up and ready? What do you think about meeting up at 5 to go to my house? Yes, everything's ready. I've packed some great wine and smoked ham. Oh, your parents will love it. <clears throat> ham? Look, we've known each other for quite some time now. Don't you think it's been long enough for you to remember that we only eat bacon in my house? Hmm. I must remember to get some milk today on my way home. Please, feel free to pay a visit to Cat's Tail anytime. Enjoying the scenery? Oh, Tone Deaf Bard! Are you here for some food as well? Oh, -ho, I can put something on your tab? Well, that's a pity. I already had a few drinks before coming here. I shall take you up on your kind offer another day. There should be no shortage of opportunities in the future. Anywho, you should be getting ready to thank me. I come bearing good news. Hmm? What kind of good news? Behold! What is it? It's what you need the most right now. <laughs> the answer to the prophetic puzzle. Simply head to the location marked on the map, and you'll find the lantern you've been looking for. However... If I were you, I wouldn't just go and reveal the secret right away. As you've seen, a lot of people have been laboring hard to uncover the answer. A secret is like a well-aged brew. The aroma from the bottle is sweetest when revealed in the company of friends. Well, then it's settled. I'll leave you to your business for now. Feel free to find me for a chat again once you're done working through the prophecy. 
<laughs> also, if you have some time, we could organize another fast track love poem class. Oh, you're starting that up again? I sure am. Nobody else has signed up this year, though, so the duty to learn falls on you. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Fenty always looks so relaxed whenever we run into him. Huh. Paimon can't help but be jealous. Excuse me. If you don't mind, could I chat with you for a moment? Oh? Who are you? You may call me Scarlet. Just like you, I'm a traveler visiting Mondstadt from another land. Mind if I buy you a drink? Leaving the door open for another time, I see. I can tell that you've dealt with a lot of people during your travels. You can tell? Well, we are very experienced adventurers after all. I can. That's why I tried to strike up a conversation with you in the first place. I was on my way to go shopping earlier when I overheard your conversation next to the crafting bench. From what I could gather, you are trying to investigate a bizarre prophecy? Yep, bizarre is definitely the word. Don't you think it sounds just like the kind of story that would happen in Mondstadt? Anyway, that's why I wanted to ask you a favor. If and when you manage to unravel the answer to the prophecy, could you let me know what it is? Not so much the prophecy itself, but Mondstadt as a nation. That's what I'm interested in. I was born in a distant land, but I have family and friends who once lived in Mondstadt for a long time. They said that it's a great place full of fairy tales and romance and recommended that I come for a visit. As it happens, someone I know has an anniversary coming up soon. So I figured this would be a good time to come here and see all the sights that she once saw. What do you think about Mondstadt so far? It certainly lives up to its name as the city of romance and freedom. <laughs> we think so too. So? About the prophecy. Thank you. You're very friendly. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. I'll leave it to you then. I hope you continue to enjoy the city and have a wonderful day. She definitely isn't dressed like a local, huh? Where do you think her hometown could be? Please find me a flower that is not of this world, and a guide who will never get lost. Find me one who would never lie, as well as a legend that never ends. Huh? <sighs> I never thought I'd have someone secretly following me, even in a free city like Mondstadt. <sighs> Good day to you, miss. Not of this.